Hello, I'm Ren and this is French Granny. Someone had asked for a real-time process video of doing this and since this would be adding another video to my channel, I thought that it'd be easier if I didn't have to edit quite as much to do a real-time version. Also, in a real-time version, there shouldn't be really a lot of editing so that you can see how long this is taking. So, I have done pages one, two, and three, and those are in the past video. I went ahead and added pages four, five, and six. And like I said, I'm not following Corey's video, but what I liked about her video was that it was an idea book that had an idea for any possible tuck, fold, um, pocket, little mini book. Um, this was one that I did that I thought was a lot of fun, but I made this string too tight, is just this, and you open it up, and then there's a little, a little uh, booklet in here. I'm sure there's probably actual terminology for what this is called. Oops, I guess I have to restaple it, but that's okay. I thought it was really cute. I did a little collage, and then I just glued a string around, which is why I think it's also too tight. Um, and there we go. Oh, Ugh. oops, I have to stick it around the belly band. So I did that so that it would be around the belly band. I just liked putting this here, this little frame, because I felt like it would give another little writing spot to highlight possibly some more text. And then I was trying to think of things, like what are things that are different or specific to me, you know? Um, and one of the things I think is that I, I like to draw. So I really wanted some more flower pictures and so I just drew this little California poppy and cut it out so that I could put it in there. I use this blue handmade paper with this blue cheesecloth to match the blues here. That was something I'd been thinking about. This one had this dark green ink and this kind of yellow ochre, so I had tried to match that there. And this one had a lot more greens in it too, and I liked having these two things being tied together with that red. I feel like the blue was a little out of place, but I think it works. So when I'm doing them, I'm trying to think about that and that's how come I added this cheesecloth was in the hopes of this tying with the rest of the page. So I had said that since I thought some of these pages were kind of mushy, that I had wanted to keep this one pretty simple. Also because I was noticing that I was getting really overwhelmed with all of the ideas and knowing how I wanted to organize it because I did not write it out beforehand. And I'm not sure how Corey did hers at first, but I know for me what I'm kind of doing is just feeling it out. I'm just trying to wing it and see what feels right in the moment and want every page to look different and feature something different. And there can be parts that are on multiple pages, like there's gonna be tags on multiple pages and there's gonna be probably the same kind of little booklets on multiple pages. But if I can at least have every spread be different and feature something different, then I will be happy with it. So I went ahead, in, pre in planning to do this in real time, I went ahead and just pulled out some things that I know I'm probably going to need since I don't have, um, if you watched Corey Dobbins' series, then you know that she used a book that she had already made as her reference and then showed how she built the whole thing. Well, I don't have a book that I've made for reference. I do have her book, but I'm trying to not copy because I think that, first off, I just wouldn't be as enraptured to do it if I was just copying. So I'm not going to do that. What I am gonna do is make a little pocket here because I started using these old, um, these old, they're old to me, but these playing cards that I had and I wanted to make them into journaling cards and I want it to fit in here into this little piece. So we are going to make something that I like to make, which I didn't see in her videos and I don't even really have a word for it. See, what is the width of these? They're about a little bit past those lines. So I'm gonna use my awl just to give myself a hole as an indicator. I'm gonna do one about here. And then one about, oops, don't move. Here. And I had said in another video that some of the things that I like to do are more from the stationary community and this is a really common pocket that I see in everybody's pen pal packages. And I was like, oh, that's perfect for a journal though. So that's why I'm doing that. I do one there. Let's go down a little bit. Do one here and then do one down here and then here and here. 
And then maybe let's go ahead and add one little small one. Yeah, I think a small, well, no. If I don't add a small one, then we have this space here to decorate and that might be fun. That way we can maybe find some red elements in something to tie that red to something else. Otherwise I'll keep the whole page brown. That seems a little dull. I have my really sturdy little ruler that I absolutely love. My X-Acto knife, which has glue on it. And I am just gonna try and be better about my straight lines than when I did my template by actually lining this up with something so that I have at least the assurance that this is going to be straight. I think you could probably use a paper cutter as well, but I just, I don't know. I get, I think, I feel like I have more control this way. Let me move this over a little more. There we go. So when somebody had requested the real time version of this, I was like, oh no, because I get kind of silly when I, I feel silly talking about stuff that I'm doing. I also get a little worried because since I'm using my phone to record the overhead shots, um, that the mic isn't the best and then the sound quality isn't super consistent. So I am just going to have to deal with that, I suppose. My hands look like crap because like I said, I was making some journaling cards out of, out of a card deck. Cause I just save them and I feel like you get them for free all the time. At least I did. I got them from, um, there was a, a zoo thing and my daughter got prizes and she got some decks of cards, but we already have decks of cards. It was kind of a, like, well, we really don't need another deck of cards. So, oh, I didn't realize that I did that one too far over. Well, let's go ahead and do this line here so that I can just fix that. I guess that's the other thing is that I feel like everybody else's work is always so perfect like it's so precise and accurate and I'm really not that kind of worker <laughs> uh, so I like using my ruler because I feel like it protects my fingers let's see this bubble wrap that's underneath me is from an Amazon package because I ordered more or I ordered some clear gesso and um, I realized that the packaging would be perfect to like do all my brushing of stuff on the gel matte medium and whatnot. I like keeping these. But then I have this cool little, little pocket. Where's my lid? There we are. Safety first, y'all. Safety first. Is that in there? All right, cool. Go that way. So now I'll see where I want it on the page. And I just want it there. A lot of the time when I make these, I will make them on a piece of paper where the whole thing has been folded like that so that it has a back. And I like that because then I can also put it in as an insert, but I'm not gonna do that for this one because I have another idea for what I'm gonna do for my insert. Then I'm gonna go ahead. I'm using this Beacon 3-in-1 Advanced Craft Glue. It smells really strongly and I don't have a room with ventilation. So if you are using it, I suggest opening a window, but it's also so hot right now in the summer so I totally understand if you don't want to. Oops, before I glue it down, I need to ink these edges. I gotta get better about being in the practice of that. I finally bought one of these little guys and it's been pretty helpful. Pre previously I was using this and I think I like this more when I want lighter finishes on things, but this just does a really good job of grabbing that ink and it's a lot bolder, I think. I'm gonna do a little scrapey, scrapey. So then I'm gonna do some up here. Oh, I don't even know what's the best. What's the best way to do that? Hmm. I'm trying to remember that as I lean forward, that makes my volume a little louder because I'll be closer to the microphone. I'm doing this so that I can, if I'm using other things that are using the same paper, because this is coffee dyed cardstock that I have and I use it for the basis of a lot of things because I have a lot of it. And so it was given to me in a box. I actually donated a ton of it to different people too. Um, I still have more, but after I started coffee dyeing it, I started really loving the patterns of the coffee on it. Like, I just think it's so pretty. 
I started using it for all sorts of things and that makes me really happy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on there now. I know that on Cory Dahman's video, she uses reptile glue. And when she was talking about it, how you have like, she said, uh, you have a little bit of wiggle room with it. It's one of the reasons I like this glue. And she also said that it has a, I don't know, like a really good point to it. I'm noticing that this one, I have to wait like a few seconds usually. Like it's not gonna, it's not gonna just automatically hug the paper the way I want it to. I want it to just hug it. I want them to just be friends instantly. And it's more the kind of glue that's like sitting in a room with a friend that's like, uh, let's, let's wonder, that's waiting for the social cues of acceptance, you know, like, uh, it's the one that's like, oh, is anyone here going to relate to me? Is anyone here going to understand? And then instantly finds a way that they can connect with the other person and then does a great job of connecting. But it's not, not the automatic can, kind of connection. It's, it's the, let's do a little looky look and feel comfy first. So I'm going to wait a second. I'm going to do a little blow on it. Yes. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one down. I want it a little lower so that if the top thingy wants to stick out, it can. So if you'll see, oh no. So if you do put it down early, what's handy about putting it down early is that you have more, more time to move it. Okay. I feel like that looks pretty good. What I'm doing is I'm eyeing the side of the page and seeing if that looks relatively straight against that and not using these words because I know that these words are going to be crooked because of the binding. So I did do this a little crooked, but you know what? I think it's okay. I think if it's a little crooked, it just adds a little charm. I am going to wait for that to dry. I want to add something here and I, sorry about my chair, have this coffee dyed tracing paper because I just want to dye everything in coffee. That way everything can smell like coffee too. There we go. I can either add a little pocket. I might add a little pocket. That'd be cute. Maybe I'll do it lower. I could add a little side thing that goes kajoo maybe. Or do I want to do something low? I kind of like these lines. I like that this is like and this might be So I think I might do that instead. So I'm just going to rip this. There we go. This is kind of how I'm seeing it in my head. That way I can fold in these little guys here, just a tiny bit. That way I have my little edges to glue on. There we go. That way it can line up right there. And then, you know, I might even just, I wasn't gonna do it this way, but I think, I don't know, I might. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and make a little pocket to go on this, on this guy. Yeah, maybe like that. Let's see if that's maybe too tall. I kind of feel like that's too tall. I wanted it to be a little lower. I wanted it to be able to stick some maybe really small things on it, in it. So let's foldy fold it up again. Ooh, my apartment is getting hot. I turned off a fan because I wasn't sure if that whirring noise was gonna ruin everything. It's gonna ruin everything. So I didn't wanna, wanna risk it. So let's go ahead and glue this here. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let, it, let it decide. I'm gonna let it gauge the room for a second. Read the room. Yes, let's let it read the room for a second. And then uh, maybe, maybe we gotta blow one out. Because it says, instant grab, fast dry glue. That's, the, the, you know, that's kind of like a, uh, what is, it's kind of like, how, how is it, how, what is, I'm trying to think of another thing that's just as hyperbolic. Um, whenever people tell you that the, the Big Mac is the absolute best burger ever, like, mm, 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 mm. Oh, God. Just be careful with your words. That's all. That's all I'm saying. And I think what I could do, see if, 
see this is me being excessive but my thought too is like oh if I just glue down the sides and then just the bottom then I've given myself two pockets but there's really no point since that's a lower pocket and so I'm gonna go ahead and just glue the whole thing also since it's tracing paper it is a little it feels fragile and I don't want it to just rip and come apart so I'll probably have to be more conscious with them um, what I'm gonna put into this little pocket, but it just looks so dainty and lovely. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead, stick, um, stick that there. I do get a little worried that I put too much glue and that it's gonna, let's see, I'm gonna lightly use my bone folder to make sure it sticks down. Is that doing it? Are you doing it? Are you cooperating? Let's see. Oh, let's try this little guy. Let's see if this. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there actually and just kind of use that to squish against it so that I know that that will flatten that little tab part that's back there. There we go. there's this thing that I guess I didn't put glue on. And that's also okay if it just tears in the future. Not like I'm just like, it'll tear apart in the future, but I, can you see this little bit right there? I actually have tweezers for things like that. Because sometimes I like to work really tiny. That was something else I was noticing that like, oh, like she made this book, but she totally based it off the whole 12 by 12, three by three, six by six paper packs and paper sizes. And this I'm making out of trash, so I have to cut everything to size and make pockets to size. Um, I've been having a hard time figuring out how to do certain pockets in here because of that, because I was like, well, what are the measurements for this? But, you know, I'll just get better at math someday. I made this little card out of a card. Oh no! See, I should have made sure it fit. But I could also cut it. I'm not opposed to cutting that. I'm also not opposed to cutting this. So let's see. I thought I had some tiny scissors. I do somewhere. Guess we'll just use this X-Acto knife. It just needs to be out just a little more. But did I put glue there? Or will that cut off? I might do a combination of, yeah. I don't know. This is also what I mean by like, Corey's just really perfect with everything she makes and I'm much more of a, ah, let's see how this goes. And as long as it looks decent, I'm happy. Cause I know that if there's something I can do, it's, it's make something look decent. That was the other thing I wanted to say too, was that as I'm working on this, I don't want to have too many materials out because I have a very limited space to work. So some of it may not look cohesive, but I do think that in the end, I'm probably going to go over with some stamping and more embellishments and find ways to tie things together more or fill up spaces that I think look too empty. And that will be a fun part of just like pulling out all my stamps and doing that part. I love stamps. Almost. We're getting closer. Hmm. I almost wonder if it should have just gone into this one. See, if it goes down here, I like it up here. I think the tab will keep it. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that up. There we are. I get so quiet when I'm cutting and it's because I'm concentrating. <laughs> We've been watching a I have no idea who watches these, but if anybody watches anime, um, my partner and I have been watching Demon Slayer 
which is an anime and one of the ways that the protagonist defeats the demons is every single time he sees a demon he has to like focus on his breathing and he's like total concentration water breathing first four <laughs> And in my head when I've been doing this and I get really quiet and I can tell that I'm starting to have total concentration I think of that just like total concentration I wonder what my kind of breathing would be because there's like fire breathing and there's um beast breathing and then there's one girl who's insect breathing and I feel like I could flat out just be like crafty breathing which is good because I noticed that as an anxious person, I also have a bad habit of holding my breath when I'm concentrating. So telling myself total concentration, breathing, <laughs> then I'm actually breathing. <clears throat> All right, let's inky ink that up. I think that did it. I think that did it. Also a friendly reminder that since I am using scraps, I'm cutting up things and and things will not look as, as pretty, I guess. I'm noticing that I'm getting more self-deprecating as I'm doing this because I'm so self-conscious and embarrassed and nervous about people watching the pro process because I feel like I'm good at making the end result look good. But in the meantime, sometimes things look really messy and not good in the earlier stages. Also, I can't believe this has already been 20 minutes and I'm not even done with this page. So that just goes to show how ambitious I was thinking that I was going to be able to to do this easily okay so there we go that card can go there oh I think that looks cute I like it I like it now I want something to go here and I had some things that I already made because I went ahead and did start pre-making some ephemera so that I'd have them and let's see what can fit in there I'd really like it if it was something that already had some red but if it doesn't, then we can add some red to it. Let's see. <laughs> I think this is the only thing with red that I have, but it's too big. It's a really cool little tag that I made with a pretty sturdy pocket, and then I put a little belly band on top, but I'm gonna wait, I guess, until I have another spot to use that for. I guess I don't have to have something right there. I just thought that maybe it'd be better if I did have something right there. Hmm. I'm going through this box where I cut out some different little ephemera things. Oh, here, that's some red. Oh, that's some red too. And that's something red. Do I have a whole thing that's not like a broken piece of something else that's all red? Let's see. Oh, that's huge. Hmm. That is also large. Let's keep going. And I actually don't have red ink, so that's not something I can tie together with a stamp. That's what I would normally do, is just pick something that at least, oh, here we go. And at least pretty standard, and then just add some red, but I don't have that. Okay, cool. If there's some cool little red bits. That does not mean that I'm gonna keep just that, but there we go. Let's see. What will fit in here? I know that this will fit. There we are. See, now that can just go in there. And this one can go in here. And I kind of like this little guy in here. And I feel like that helps have the red on both pages. I feel like this needs something red here, but I would have wanted to stick it behind, so I'm not entirely sure how I would do that. Unless maybe, you know, See, that's already on there. And now I'm wishing that I had done something red. I could maybe do that. Oh, I do like that, actually. Okay, cool. So let's try that. 
So for these, I don't, for this, I don't want to use glue because I don't want to wait on it. So I'm going to just grab my craft adhesive. going to take out the little concertina. I am going to ink this. Where'd it go? Okay. I like using the craft adhesive on newer papers. Since this came from a paper pack, I don't feel um, nervous about it. I've tried using it on vintage papers and uh, it's of course torn it up. So while, what I do when I do that is I will like hold the adhesive down as I pull and then just like pull it off onto the page. <laughs> there we are. And then now we have this little pocket which I also should have inked. Maybe I can stick some ink on it now. I just want it to pop a little more. There we are. That kind of helps. And now we'll see what can go in here. What do you think? I have a little thing of tags, so let's see. And again, this is what I mean by like, I should have planned better. Hmm. I'm gonna just grab any that might have some red or that are all brown. Cause I feel like just sticking with the color palette is usually the best way to keep things looking cohesive. As soon as you start going willy nilly with color palettes, you know, then things start looking all wild, which is partially what's so hard about, ooh, I like this one. That's pretty. Um, that's what's so hard about like themes or keeping things looking clean is like it's great to use trash but it's hard to like sometimes utilize trash in the best way and one of the things that I'm realizing that if I do it it helps me a lot is just to gesso everything if I gesso it then I have the perfect surface for writing or or painting and I do like to paint so I like to give myself that option see the problem now is that that's going to cover the other things oh no did that stick to itself no it didn't why am I struggling who who goes is it that maybe I should have thought of that there we are but that's gonna cover that up so now let's see what are our options here we can put that there. Hmm. See, that's too big now. We can maybe go ahead and keep this one here. That there, depending on how this tag fits. Hmm. It's kind of really snug. I could also just trim this one up on the edges. Let's just do it. Okay. Do a little inky ink, a little inky ink. Now let's try. Oh, it'll fit. There we go. Yeah, so that can go there. And then have another little pocket here for just some random ephemera. One here and one here. I like that. I like that this page feels very left to right, things tilted on their side, and this one feels very up and down. So this one, I had gone ahead and put this here because I wanted to remember that this is what I wanted to do. I think I'm gonna end up running out of time. Might, might only be able to do two pages because I just wanted to put this pocket in. But I guess you don't need to see me putting stuff into a pocket, you know? Cause that's, it's just gonna be the same way that I did the other where I'm just like, all right, well, what do I want on the other side? What, what is gonna be cohesive color wise? Let's see, I'm gonna, this is a page from Robin Hood.
There we are. Up, oh, up, up. Nope, nope, nope. Let's get you a little bit more. And then you here. I know I've seen other people just stick a little scrap paper behind, but I don't know why I'm not doing that. I guess because I don't have a scrap paper right at hand because I put everything up here that I needed for this. This is honestly another one that I'm going to not do glue for. I like that. I think I like that, yeah. So let's do that. This is a pocket that I found from the Paper Outpost. It's a great channel. I really like it. If you are interested in other how to do different journaling thing channels, though I'm, I'm, you know, I'm positive that like, oh no, I do want glue. Positive that it probably everyone else's channel is way more well known. So <laughs> like, uh, it's just wanting to give credit because I definitely just collect a bunch of ideas from a whole bunch of other people and then go for it, you know, just see what I can, I can make. I get excited about making things. I'll see things that I have and I'm like, oh, wow, I have something similar. I can totally do that, but then also do this, which is how I felt about the Scrap Buster book was, yeah, having a book with all of the ideas that you could possibly like do in a book all together as an example book would be the handiest thing. Then I could always have it for reference even fill it up in different ways and then it could be also like the base of how to do other ones though as I said earlier like a big habit of mine has always been just like winging it just being like what feels like it wants to be here because I'm that kind of person what feels like it wants to be here what hasn't had a good day trip in a while out of its box there we are so sometimes I'll get if it feel like the thing is too me the stamping is too messy I'll go through with this one and try and smooth it out I do feel like that looks a little it's a little streaky that's the kind of stuff I get neurotic about oh nice that's cool let's do a little more over here cool let's spread that down there we are because I really want all the different possible pocket spots to visible. This is not an especially old book and I think with longer strips I feel more confident using the craft adhesive. I do want to be able to use this back as a pocket as well so I'm just going to I guess go down here and make that a spot. Here, go across and then go up. Now I have not ever noticed a problem with using my craft adhesive. I've used it on a ton of projects. It is very, very, very adhesive. <laughs> As in like, if I mess something up, and that's partially why I even stopped using it, but if I mess something up and I do want something that's a little bit more forgiving, I wish, I'll, I'll have wished that I used glue because I would at least be able to move it a little faster. Crap that he said, you stick it on something and then it's like, that's its home now. That's where it lives. And then for the last one, see that one I'm just gonna leave like that and put some fun things in it and I'll show y'all another time, but I wanna show the bases of the paper first. So this one, I was really excited about this idea because I got this idea from um, Marley Designs and Bohemian Crafting. They did a little swap and it was so freaking cute. And they did a secretary book that looked so cool. So, so cool. Both, both of them, like both of them were just mind blowing. I was completely enthralled by both of their books. And very rarely do I see a book that I feel like that about. And I think that that's part of the reason why I have such mixed feelings about like, do I belong in this junk journaling community? Is this something that I can be included in? Cause I love it and I love making stuff, but I feel like my style is different and a lot of the time I'm always really impressed with the building and the structure and the creativity but it's not something I want it's like not like a a thing I would purchase from someone else and so then I feel like oh well maybe if this isn't something that I personally like then maybe I'm not 
maybe I don't belong in this community. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little three, it's not, what is that? Five eighths, is that what that is? Cause that would be four eighths, and that would be six eighths, I guess, right? I don't wanna do one fourth. Maybe one fourth is good. I need a little tab. Yeah. So, um, but so like, if, whenever I get, whenever I see a video of something someone's made where I really, really am just like jaw dropped, impressed, mind blown, I am um, so excited and inspired to incorporate some of the ideas that they had in there. And one of the ideas is this really cool little down flip pocket thing that Marley Designs did in Bohemian Crafting's uh, swap. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just in, I think I wanna try to, is there any way I can kind of highlight the little embossing that's on there? I don't think I can. I think that that's as good as it's gonna get. Well, I want that to be there. Okay, uh, maybe I should do this back edge so in case it flips over, it doesn't look quite so bright. Let's go ahead and do that. See, that one's edge is showing up. Maybe it's just that pink. So that means that on this side, I'm gonna have to incorporate more pink. What I'm gonna go ahead and do, I don't wanna glue that yet, because what I wanna do is have a little flower here, and I wanna attach it with a brad. That's why I have my brads. Where'd they go? Where are you? There you are. These tiny little ones that I found on clearance for a dollar. Realized after the fact that I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna use these because these were only a dollar. And the, not they were only a dollar, but I was like, that's why these were only a dollar because they're tiny. But realizing afterward, oh, I can totally use these in little tiny projects. And I'll also say that I've gotten really inspired with another idea that I want to do of making a little junk journal that's maybe like this, but tiny, like teeny. Tiny, teeny tiny. I don't know why I wanted to say teeny tiny Tina Turner. But that's <laughs> kind of like that. It's real small. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do some of the stuff that I had an idea for because I want to do it before I glue it down. So this one I'm gonna brown up some of these air gels. I want to do it with this one too. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put one top of the other. Let's, let's have them kind of, there we go. I want to put it kind of in the middle of this guy, of this little embossing here. I think that kind of looks cool, even if it's not in the middle of this paper, because I think I could add something here to this side and it'd be neat. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get my all. I know I see a lot of people with a crocodile, but I don't have a crocodile, so I'm gonna use an all. That was always my thought too. Is like when people are like, "But using a crocodile, you can get you can get a hole in the middle of the paper," and I'm like, "But with an all, I can get a hole wherever I want it." So maybe I'll just stick with my all. There we are. Isn't that cute? I think that's cute. And I can do that and put a secret here. <gasps> there. Maybe that's what this will be like. Secrets here. Wow. And then this one, I'm going to do a similar thing. But I need to have something to put here. My partner is now home, which means there's going to be loud sounds soon. But I'm going ahead and just letting you know so that I don't feel like I have to re-record any of this or just suddenly stop. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. I know I had some more pink scraps of this paper too, because it was a paper that I was waiting on using. I wasn't just going willy nilly with it. it was was not going ham, as I would like to say. Oh, that would fit in there, does it? That's kind of cool. I can kind of see what I was going for. I'm gonna probably do a little belly band and have something pop out right there, and it be upright. Yeah. Hmm kind of think that that is neat, but still, what goes here? 
let's decorate this real quick. I have a little box of scraps. What I find too is if I keep all the scraps that I've been using more immediately together, then it means that usually the papers I've been using are also just right there. So that's good. But I do now have like four different boxes of scraps because I do them based on size. Let's see. Can I find more of that pink paper? I probably will have to cut for a second. At least so I can look for it. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I found a piece of paper. Uh, my partner has come in and, and talked and done done his back from work stuffs. And so now I think we are good to continue on and finish up this page. I am amazed by how long this is taking and I'm even trying to go really fast. It makes me wonder how long do I actually take when I'm not doing it this way. Found this little piece and I found another scrap from this. So I am gonna use it because I feel like it'll tie it all together. And then I think I might use more of that black to do the band in the middle. I think that'll be cute. And then some of this. Just do a little, let's just do a little wee collage. And again, since this is mostly paper pack stuff, I don't feel bad using my craft adhesive. I think it is just faster than waiting for anything to dry. Let's go ahead and do that there. this one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Crap. Okay. There we go. <gasps> there. So maybe, okay, maybe that's another reason for, <laughs> for using glue. Oh, no. I don't know if I want that there. Do I want that there and then this there? Or do I want, I want this on top. So we're going to put that there. I'm going to put this one underneath that because I think that will look cooler. There we go. Oh, let's do it like this. Okay, cool. Let's do one right there. And then we'll add this one right here. I think that looks neat. And then we can go ahead and add our little flowers from this side. Let's inky ink it. Here we are. Oh crap, I just I just realized something. My partner got my daughter a cheese danish and he had just said that he had gotten it not heated so that whenever she got home, she could have it heated up. But I actually think she's not coming back until tomorrow. So that's cool. Though it doesn't really help me with recording stuff because really I only have the weekends for recording because it's when she is both at her father's and then also, um, and my partner is at work. And so then I know just like how long I'll have like, um, just to do everything. Oh, that's cute. Here? No. Yeah, here. That's cute. I like that. Let's go ahead and poke this hole again. Let's put it right here. Pop. I'm gonna keep those together and then stick a little brad right through them. Hmm. I also feel like, I think part of the reason why I am struggling is because I'm trying to do this not on my chair and I'm trying to do it in the light. Let's go ahead and separate that and flatten it. There we are. Actually, I think that looks super cute. Kind of makes me wish I would have added more to this one. But the pro of using this is that I can always add something. I might even do that right now. I think that will tie those together really well. Where did I put that other little black piece? I'll just rip off another piece. Oh, here it is. Okay. So yeah, let's just go ahead and rip off. Hmm. Yeah, 
I think it would look better if it was like that. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to leave those there. Going to inky ink this at least all the way around because I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to rip it off from. Let's see. Do it right there maybe. Hmm. Kind of don't want it to have that shape. Like I want to be able to have it have be a crossy shape. So let me get my ruler. Sign up where these words are. Like that. There. Think you can get some more. There we are. Like that, I think, yeah. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and rip that part off. And then use the craft adhesive. There we are. This is actually very uncomfortable. I'm going to have to sit in my chair. But then I know it's going to squeak the whole time. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and put that there. I'm going to use my awl to punch back through this hole so that I still have it. And then come back here and stick you back in there. Uh-oh. You don't want to go back in. Makes me think of like not wanting to go back to your hometown. Go back. You need to go back sometimes. You gotta at least see how it's changed. There we go. There's that. And there's this one. So now this one, what we're gonna do, because I want this to go in here. I kinda wonder if I should cover that up by something so it doesn't snag. Probably should. Let's just use this little piece. There we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just do that. That way I don't snag on it the way I did it with the other little paper. So this is also the book where you get to make the mistakes and figure out, okay, well now I see, don't make the tracing paper pocket that way. Make it a different way. It's not the best way. Then I want to add a belly band. I did make, oh goodness. <clears throat> I did make one of those pocket belly bands. because I thought it was so cool, but I didn't make one. Hmm. But it's tiny. Oh yeah, I was gonna just use the black. Okay, okay. Oof. Go ahead and rip some long rips. My gosh, my chair sounds like it's dying. Okay. Ooh. Wait a second. What's cuter? Is it cuter to have it like popping out? I kind of think that that's pretty cute. And actually, since it is so big, I'm worried about it because it's so big. Oh no. Oh, in case you didn't see. Just a little, little paper pack of my copy dyed paper. Stuck it in here. I like that it fits like that. I think, yeah. I was thinking to, to go ahead and do a little pocket, but I think it'll be too hard to have it fit into a pocket. I think it'll be easier to try and have it fit into a belly band. So let's try. Let's see, we need it to be this long. How wide? Maybe that wide? Let's go a little thinner. Oh my gosh. There we are. That long enough? Plenty long, yeah. What I am gonna do is do this like this. Cause I feel like that will allow for more space, right? 
I can notice that I'm already getting quieter just because somebody else is in the house. And that's something I've been wondering with myself about where it's just like, what is it about my identity that feels so self-conscious knowing that somebody else could hear me if I'm just talking to a camera? When I also know that like, I wouldn't care if anybody watched it and like heard my out loud internal dialogue. But for some reason, I just get so self-conscious and then I get so quiet and I know that I'm just gonna, you know, kick me in the butt later because then I'm gonna have to be the person that's editing all the audio and I'm gonna be like, why was I so quiet right there? Let's see if that fits. I feel like that would with this little guy in the middle. I probably should have done it that way. Mm, like that. I think that'll be cute. Okay, let's try. And if not, like I said, we're learning. I always take it out, rip it up, use it for something else. Or not, or just not use that little book in there. Just put something else in there. It's okay. Doesn't have to. All right, let me see. Oh, actually, I think I might even do it a little off center. I think that'll be cute too. And it'll kind of have that same little pocket look that I had originally thought might look cute. That looks cute. Okay. Let's it up there. And then I do that thing that I did the, the other cardstock because I get worried about glue going too far and gluing my stuff down. I'm just going to kind of run this through to make sure that it catches any glue that might squish out. Hmm. I like that. Any glue on it? About this one. Hmm. Any glue on you? Okay, cool. Now, oops, we can get this. Glue this little tab down. There we are. How cute! Oh, I just had, I just saw something. I like that these have rounded edges, but sharp corners up top. I want this one to have rounded edges and sharp corners on top. So I guess while I'm going to get a clip so that can hold down. There we go. Like that. And then while that's, while that's doing that, go ahead and work on this. That way they match. I think that'll be cute. Nice. Now they look like little friends. There we are. Oh, at first I was like, maybe they're friends or maybe they're sisters. And then started to think too much about it and was like, oh, what if it's a mama and a baby? But the baby has a little booklet and it's like, oh, that makes sense because the baby has all this potential in a whole new world. And the mama's just like, here's what I know, being upfront about it. And the baby's like, I got all this secret stuff I'm taking in from everywhere and I'm gonna, gonna have my whole own little story. It's kind of, kind of how these little tags are. We got the mama and the baby. That's cute. Here's my other clothespins. She had those quilting clips, and I think that they're so cute, but I'm just going to use those. There we are. So after this, I'm going to go ahead and stop it. Oh, and then I guess we'll come back another day, and I will tell you what I have done to fill in these spots, um, but then we'll actually build another page. I'm not sure if that's what is ideal. I feel like, because I think that, like, y'all know, if you're here and watching this video, then you know what tag is, you know, and, like, putting something into a tag or a pocket. That's not like, I don't, I don't know. You know, like this is like me just finding something to put in there. But it's, I'm just not entirely sure what I want to put in there. Like I don't want to put another envelope, but I feel like, I also don't want to overstuff it. So it might just be some ephemera. It might just be a fun picture or a fun collage. I don't know yet. I just wanted to at least have the base down so that I wouldn't feel pressured about what kind of pocket. I also really just, I like, I really like this. And I really love these little guys. Let's see. Let's see if that glue is 
good because then we're going to do this for this little belly band. Stick you in there. It worked! All right, now I coffee dyed some embroidery thread and I am wondering where it is. Well, I'll just have to show you later, but basically I'm just gonna do like the two button enclosure and go around here, but I coffee dyed white embroidery thread so that it would match everything. And I'll show you that this week. I'll show you that later. All right. Um, well, thank you. Uh, I have some other videos that I have planned, but they're more planned planned. And thanks for watching if you watch this whole thing. Whew, this is too long. All right, see you next time.